Hey everybody, it's Jay, and tonight I wanted to talk about my Scorpion Evo 3. This, uh, this gun has been with me for pretty much since around the time that they first came out. And if you saw my top 13 PCCs list, uh, ranked basically from what I had available to me at the time, you'll know that the Scorpion Evo 3 ranks at the top of my list, and that still continues to this day. In fact, there's even more reason why this is at my number one. Because even since that video, the aftermarket has continued to dramatically increase on these guns, the aftermarket support. And it's gotten to a point now where you can make these just about anything that you want them. It's not as good on the customizability side as an AR, but whenever you consider that people making parts for these in magazines are effectively making it for this gun, either in the pistol like you see here, or the carbine, or the K model, they're basically only making it for these all these aftermarket parts for the Scorpion. People complained about the ambidextrous safety uh, digging into the, the forefinger, which was basically my only complaint with the gun whenever I got it. CZ introduced a deleted safety. People complained about the grip angle, some about the size on the factory grip, which this is not. I'll show you by comparison. And you see it goes quite a bit further out and down. Um, lots of companies uh, have started making pistol grips for these. I actually went out to check to see who all was making grips, and there were so many that I was like, just trust me, there's a lot. <laughs> there are more than I can remember off the top of my head. The one that I have on mine is an Apex grip. I actually just got this today, and I'm trying it for the first time, because from an ergonomic standpoint, I like the feel of the factory grip, but I did notice... Really, um, um, it wasn't until somebody pointed it out that this grip angle is pushed so far back that it does make uh, you know, a proper grip and proper stance a little bit more challenging and a little bit more uncomfortable. I found I was pushing my grip a little bit forward and not really getting dogged down on the grip like I should have been. So I uh, decided to try this Apex grip out. I like it pretty well, except for one, you can see this gap here in the grip from the grip to the frame. It's a little cheesy looking in my opinion, uh, which if you don't care about appearance, then I guess that's not that big of a deal. The other thing is I found the texturing on the front to be it, extremely too aggressive. So I ended up taking that texturing, that checkering down to about a third of what it was previously. And now it's overall pretty comfortable. So I like the grip overall, except for, like I said, that little gap there, which is Again, some people probably won't care. Some people will notice, so I figured I'd call it out. I don't really care, uh, but it is a lot more comfortable for me than the factory grip. But like I said, a lot of people are making grips for those, so uh, chances are you can find something that's going to fit. Another thing, too, is people of a lot of different people now are making mags. This is a Manicore mag made by Manicore and produced for pre uh, Prepper Gun Shop. But they have all kinds of things for these, like different charging handles, different triggers. This has a, an HB Industries trigger spring set in it. So uh, there's different mag releases, different safety styles, just all kinds of different stuff that you can get, different brace options. They offer these now in half by 28 threads because that's another thing people complained about. So the other nice thing about a lot of these parts is they're generally pretty cheap. This gun has been 100% reliable. The only issue that I've actually had while shooting this, and you notice I said while shooting this and not with the gun, is using the factory coupler, mag coupler that came with this gun. With these two mags coupled together, these are factory CZ mags. Um, I have had some issues with double feeds, some feeding problems, which I suspect may be tension on the bodies from the coupler. It could also be that the extra weight of having two mags on there changes the feeding angle. I'm not 100% sure, but I've only had that issue with the coupled together mags. No issues with the other factory mags that I have or the Manicore mags. So while it does make mag changes very fast, uh, I really feel like it's more of a novelty than anything because in the time it takes you to clear the jam, you've decidedly added much more time than it would be to just grab another mag out of a pouch and swap it out. Um, I have some Magpul mags coming in that I haven't tested out yet, so uh, I just wanted to see what they were like. And also, 
try them out uh, in case a magazine ban at some point happens. I figured I'd better get them now as of when I'm recording this. Yeah, basically I just wanted to talk about this gun again because I like shooting it so much and uh, just take it out and, and shoot it a little bit at the range. So I'm going to cut over to that range footage and then uh, I won't do an outro or anything for that. But this is Jay. Hope you liked the video. Please click like if you did. Be sure to subscribe to us if you haven't already and be sure to check out our Patreon page if you want to help support us and I'll cut over to the range.